guys, thanks for tuning in. So it's long weekend this weekend and we were just up spending the day in Whistler yesterday and today we're gonna be heading to the North Shore to do another snowy winter hike. Um, so we're heading over to Cyprus, but on our way we gotta pick up a special guest. us to change our hike choice from St. Mark Summit to Eagle Bluffs. Same starting point, uh, just going up different sides of the mountain. So, Miley, we're going to do Eagle Bluffs instead of St. Mark's. You happy about that? Challenge number one is find a parking spot that's not a million miles away from the start of the hike. You ready, Miley? Ah! Oh. Energy. So, I forgot my sunglasses, but luckily I always keep a spare pair in the car. These were, uh, I think, $3 from Thailand, and Sarah hates them. So on a lot of these North Shore trails, I find that yak tracks work a lot better than snowshoes because the trail's so packed that uh, you don't even need the big bulky, um, big bulky snowshoes and these give you the grip you need. It never ceases to amaze me how quickly you get hot when you're exercising in the snow. According to the internet, this hike takes four hours round trip. I'm convinced it's more like three. So we're gonna test that. Oh, starts out super steep, most of your verticals within the first like half an hour of the hike. So once we get to the top of this, smooth sailing from there. Too much camera gear. The bag feels so heavy. Usually taking pictures is an excuse to so take a break. Just off the trail, there's a little deviation. You can go to Cabin Lake, which in the summertime is actually a really cool spot. You can swim here, even though it's glacial, a little freezing, but cool spot to hang out. So it took us about 45 to an hour to get to this point, which is an amazing lookout, and uh, pretty much the top of the vertical. So from here to Eagles Bluffs, it's pretty much flat. And Amazing view of house down, and I believe you blow just out of view, basically over that way. Somehow we uh, missed the turn off to the bluffs, and I'm not sure how because we didn't really see an option to turn. So backtrack. All right, so here's how we screwed up. Came in this direction, all marked. Went in that direction, also marked. Didn't go in this direction, which isn't marked. That's the way you go to Eagle Bluffs. Final stretch through the forest to the bluffs. All right, here comes the big reveal. Wow. wow. Definitely shades on time. everywhere. Made it to the top of Eagle Bluffs on this beautiful, beautiful day. Great view of Vancouver. Thought it'd be a lot busier up here considering it's uh, Sunday of the long weekend, but uh, time to enjoy the lunch and make it back. So thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for the next episode.